Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shirley Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do it in. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on those channels. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot. Oh my guys, I'm not going to lie. This Ruthie and her puppies, they look so adorable. You know, as much as I'm not a fan of puppies, but yo, they look so cute. I even saw how she reunited with her puppies. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do this, but yo, I'm not really a fan of all this kind of pets. You know, that's why I keep wondering why Angel would choose out of everything. She chose a, a kitten as a pet. I mean, Angel and Suma, my babies. Okay, guys, talking about Ruthie. Ruthie is a, she has actually made it official. She says, Ruthless is now official. I just want to give a big shout out to all the amazing fans and there who have followed and showed support up until now you all are the real mvps i asked and you chose rootless this is i'm really saying that it's official rootless like her fan base is rootless and i think the J flow also says something about her own too yeah herself and ruthie made the video about that so right now, Ruthie has actually put in it in words. But guys, am I the only one who missed DJ Flo on my screen? Turn me on, baby. <laughs> I really do miss her and I also miss Ruthie Bruhaha. In fact, the two pairs that left on Sunday, I miss them so much. The trees, and because we've not had Kesia and Toby's scene ever since. Okay, coming from Shags, yes. Omolondon to Talenu, he says, This season was so stressful. Had a bet if he would score 30, he scored like 10 in one week. I had to free the bet. Please bear in mind, I scored like 12 that season. Best player I know. Life is so funny. Can't believe we are in Niger making it happen. Oh, you bro, twin. So, this is um, Sean, sorry, I see Sean Shags, you know, putting out, uh, what is he called? sean's um how will i put it like his profile out there you know as you can see his name is there sean okoje position forward quarantine and he fights town you know he's just trying to let everyone know that this thing that they speak about football it is not a jamboree like it happened you know and like already i said it wasn't all yesterday i said something about oh sean and um these shakes are not just friends but they have the same career despite um shakes nobody accepted that he was a footballer but i think that was how he gets met sean but right now he said now they're in nigeria living their reality you know doing some other things that they are good at you know some things that they do not even know that they are going to be good at look at them right now influencers celebrities here in nigeria and doing their own thingy and both of them had the same leg injury that made them stop playing like they just have the same similarities like you so this is shakes outside the house trying to clamor and cheer his friend out there omar gets you a friend like shakes at this point it's giving man like shakes because yeah guys no matter how we try to put it you see the fan base from sean started off with shakes because immediately he stepped into the house both shakes and bella were cheering him on they were like oh it is sean or nothing yeah okay coming from shella big shakes and big sean my ababolas london boys to the effing world twins for real watching him for weeks now you guys are so alike in many ways says it's itunu of god african queen says loyalty family love at its best love you both and then coming from Ukmat, god will reward your loyalty only he did same for you during your time when you were being constantly bullied on the streets and your career being attacked see how you are hyping his career meanwhile he did nothing and watch your career being tarnished to think you call him bro it is well hmm 
I thought the reason why Shex FC are actually rooting for Sean, they said Sean also supported Shex when he was in the house because I did not see that, right? But it's only the fan base that would see it because they go in deep, they know people who support their faves. So why is this person saying another thing right here? Because I don't get it. Okay, coming from the curious Kimi. Anywhere you see Anita, look closely, you will see Ben. I don't know how Tofa isn't complaining. This Ben guy is a lot. <laughs> Guys, one of the videos I posted today already, I shared how people felt like the obsession from Ben End is just too much and they are not taking it anymore. They are still complaining about that. Coming from Comrade, Chizoba will soon realize Ben doesn't like her. His true love is Anita and Tindine wasn't lying after all. <laughs> you guys should let friendship be, people should let them be a beggy. Ben, you will tell me what your problem is with Anita. Can't you leave her for once? I think people are getting tired of this friendship. I think these are the things that Bukawa will touch. When it comes for the female, it is Onyeka with the guys. And then for the male, it's Ben with Anita. And what is going on there? Now, talking about Onyeka, right? Guys, we know one of the gists that surrounds Onyeka is this triangle that is trying to happen between Onyeka, Victoria, and Ozzy. So, after they had their party last night that their pool party before the speed dating started right um they started again with conversation chizoba was with oc and oz enjoying their company later on onyeka came and oz started up a topic of oh how onyeka has been distanced blah 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 and onyeka was like oh i was trying to get close and then you, you were giving me don't come close kind of vibe like i have to stay now i saw you at the sewing machine site she's trying her best not to mention um victoria's name she tried her best not to mention victoria's name at that scenario i'll come back to onyeka and ozi yes i'll come back to that but let me get this from chime but which of the besties does ozi want to gun body with the new one or the first one sweet says it's clearly how he used to enter the pool today when he saw first floating in the water that is onyeka and then web for king said obviously the new one now let's go back at this point i think the netizens had to just not come for Onyeka at this point again because even Ozzy is truly, truly trying to play his thing right here. Just like the other video I posted, you know, today, I said something about how people have seen that oh, Onyeka needs to actually feel the way she was feeling. But guys, do you know that Ozzy knows what he is doing right here? Because even Onyeka told him to his face, I know you want us to be fighting over you, right? Ozzy was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? You know, he was just laughing over it. You will see him, you know, doing this thing with Onyeka and you see him also doing this with Victoria. Like, it's giving baby boy knows what he's doing. He just wants to just make the ladies feel a different kind of way. Because forget it, Ozzy knows what he's doing. At this point, I think you shouldn't even blame. Onyeka should not even be put to blame. And I think the only place Onyeka should be actually called out is just where she mentions Victoria. You know, aside that, aside from calling Victoria's name, her feelings is valid. Like, on how she felt or how, however, Ozzy is actually moving at this time. Because she has also observed that, hmm, it may seem as though this boy knows what he's doing, oh. You know, and it may seem as though me, I don't they lose guard already, calling out Victoria's name here and there. But now, she don't maintain. She's holding up, right? And then, they are having this convo and Ozzy is telling Onyeka right now that, oh, you're distancing yourself, blah, 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 blah. I look out for you. I told you about your microphone infringement. And then, you think I don't care. You know, all of those kind of talk. <laughs> you get it. So, I don't know. But it's not like it's not okay to be cool with people but there is difference between being cool with people and then having a certain conversation with two yes it's a duo season anyways but omo this house made do i really just hope ebuka would touch some tables and when he is touching all of this table oz should not be left out on this one okay coming from in double's key by the way, twins are cool with checkers because of alliance reason nobody is ready for this conversation Okay, someone said they told Vicky to come out of her shell. Now Vicky is out and all I see is tears. Anyways, guys, um, whether it's Alliance or whatnot, to me, I feel like they like each other. The checkers and the, what's he called, them by the way, twins, I think they like each other. Okay, someone says one thing about Victoria, things are happening around her she's not even aware of. And then Stormborn says she is aware and chose not to give an F. A superpower not many possess. Now, guys, here is the thing. You know, in all of this triangle, rectangle going on between Ozzy, Onyeka and Victoria, 
Victoria had, at any point had not said anything even to Ozzy. Like, you know how Ozzy would be with Victoria this minute and then goes to Nyeka and have conversation with her and, you know, they hug and all of that. You will not see Victoria telling Ozzy, uh, you've gone to her. Just like Onyeka would always do to Ozzy. Now, and Onyeka has once come to Victoria. That was then, I think it was like days ago, I was telling her that, oh, please, I and Ozzy do not have anything. That I was saying that one is not even necessary. What's, what kind of move is that one? But you will not see Victoria act any kind of way. You will not see her raising any kind of thingy. Even to her best case, you will not see Victoria having that convo with, with anybody. So do you think Victoria is not aware of the drama going on with this Ozzy thingy? Or you think she's also just playing along? What do you think about this one? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, coming from Kuvor. Mbadiwe twins, Wani and Handy, Chekas, Nelita, Shaturia, were the top five of the season. Anything outside this, it's Nigerian doing what they know how to do best. Guys, you accept this top five. Mbadiwe twins, Wani X, Handy, Chekas, Nelita and Shaturia. You think these names mentioned here are supposed to be the season's top five? How many is here? Two, four, yes, five. Or you think there is a name missing, a pair missing or something. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this housemate I've just discussed right now. Especially with the Ozzy, Onyeka and um, Victoria Triangle that is going on in this house right now. Tell me your exact feeling about what is going on. Do you think, just like I feel like Ozzy is the center of attraction right here, he wants to be the center of attraction, rather, from the lady's end. You know, all the things Onyeka is doing, she likes it. You understand? So it's remaining for Victoria to also do her so that it will give clash, ladies clashing for him. Do you think that is a gameplay from his end or he's just trying to get to know the two ladies and then the ladies took it so, you know, personal? Tell me what you think about this one in the comment section. Thank you so much for always selling with me. Bye for now, babies.